But who's who's leading this in? Is it me? You go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. It's all <laughs> good. To be fair, we'll keep this in because really, Ooh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but geez. yeah, man, that's a that's better strictly... opening. Yeah, that's a good oh, opening. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, and you know, you guys are still listening. We're just talking absolute nonsense. There's no intro. But hey, look, Sean Strickland versus Israel Adesanya. Madness. What do you think, Tim? A little bit sorry state of the middleweight division. Oh isn't it representative like Drickus Duplessy is out I mean say what you will about Drickus uh, people are very critical of his stand-up he had defeated a bunch of guys and he was the clear clear-cut number one contender exactly uh, no, beat Robert Wicker man you, you know by the way yeah. Robert Wicker was in the pound for pound rankings in it I know you know this but for the mm -hmm. people that out there that just forgot about that the guy wasn't even a champion you know he's not been a champion for three four years he's still in the pound for pound rankings Drinkus Duplessis took him out and he's not getting the title shot. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh man, it's oh it's rough. Like, oh man, it's rough. I would have preferred the Drickus fight. It's an interesting style matchup, some some top position wrestling. Sean Strickland on a two-fight win streak, one against Nasser Nasardine Imanov and the other, uh, as we were talking about the other week at Mega Medoff. What, yeah. what do you what do you think of the matchup though? What are your thoughts on it? I mean, I th this is the thing, yeah. I don't feel like I feel like Sean fights. I'm not saying he fights with ego, but he fights to entertain the fans. Um, so I don't believe he's going to he's gonna want to do the man dance. You know, the man dance is just him standing up, um, you know, and he's going to have a very boxing uh, heavy style as he always does. He's not going to shoot for a takedown against Izzy, even though he probably has the grappling and wrestling advantage, mm -hmm. which is a shame because he could probably definitely, um, you know, take advantage of that. But it's just going to be a stand up affair. Boxer versus kickboxer. The kickboxer's going to win nine times out of ten, you know. So. Yeah, and Sean Strickland uh, is is <clears throat> he has a couple tools that he's sharpened yeah. a lot. He's got a strong jab, stuff like that. He has a few other things, but he, he doesn't have a, a whole array, a whole arsenal of tools. But it's just yeah. the sorry state because I think, like, without looking at it, and then I'll try to figure it out, but who's Sean Strickland's best win career-wise? God, I need to Google that. Just give me one second. This is it. No, that's exactly <laughs> it. So, this. Hold on. I, I'm looking at his record now. Jack Hermanson, Uriah Hall uh, in, in 2022. Uh, yeah. Christoph Joko, Brendan Allen, Jack Marshman. Boy, these are these are not top five guys. And these are that's his true, best. You know. Wow, that's... Yeah, I mean, I damn. He just made me realize something. He's never fought anyone within the top five. He's never fought a Marvin... As if he's not fought Marvin Vittori. No, no, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't no. fight Marvin. So he's never he's never beaten Marvin Vittori. He's never, uh, you know, bless you. <laughs> he's never Thanks. he's never beaten um he's never beaten Robert Whitaker. Obviously, he's never beaten. You know what? Arguably, he did he did kind of win against Jared Cannonier. Arguably, you could right? You could make the argument. Yes, you could yeah, make that he, argument. Yeah, you know, it was a very close fight. Like so, I don't know. I mean, look, there's one thing that I was really impressed with. Yeah, he. Mm -hmm. I think he improved that Philly Shell man in the in the fight against the last geezer. I can't remember his name now. Um, uh, um, <laughs> I, was telling, I was telling everyone, yeah, second round KO. This guy's gonna get. Now I don't even remember his name. That's so rude. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Abus second round KO the other way around. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, it could have happened. I mean, it's it's, just, it's fighting's a weird thing, and he was doing well in the first round. Abus make a medal. But yeah, I think yeah, Sean came out yeah. came out like this, and then later in his yeah. career, he was actually developed. Oh more yeah. In Philly. Right? Yeah, yeah, I like that, man. I was like, oh, that's it. Because uh, Abus, for the first round, he looked like an absolute world beater, man. He, he looked like, oh, I was like, oh my God, this guy's going to get the finish in uh, the second round. And then he just, he gassed really badly. So it was great composure by Sean. You know, he was getting lit up a little bit in the first round. But even mm -hmm. his, um, even his uh, corner wasn't even worried. They're like, listen, this is exactly what we want. You know, we're going to wear him down. We're gonna take him into deep wars. It's a five round fight. One round doesn't mean anything, and then he just put the he put the gas up in the second round. So um, yeah, like props to props to Sean. Um, you know he's always great, got uh, in great shape. Uh, mm -hmm. He's got really good kind of. He's got good uh, ring ring IQ as well. But just generally speaking, against the champion, man, it's just no, nah, no way, no way. 
Man, it's yeah, Israel is 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 head and shoulders above these guys. Like the Jared Cannonier fight wasn't close. That was a blowout. It was an obvious, obvious or uh, sorry, it was a clear blowout from bell to bell and it wasn't close. And that's the guy that Sean Strickland went to war with and just exactly. had to fight tooth and nail against. Um but yeah, I think this will be I mean, one of Israel's better knockouts. I'm <laughs> honestly <laughs> No, what the about the other one? It's gonna be fire. Oh, oh my god that's the only thing you know what i might just tune in for the press conference and just skip the live event and just watch the highlights <laughs> the next day that's <laughs> sean sometimes is genuinely funny like when he was talking about being american and showering with his ak-47 that was really funny yeah. that's that's funny stuff but then he's just such like a stream of consciousness and just talks and talks and talks and like one out of 25 things he says are kind of clever the rest of it is just so asinine yeah. you he know started, uh, yeah he started going into that whole um god it started getting a little bit of red pill didn't it like he started going yeah all the women gotta stay at home and i'm like man this is just this is not gonna go well and like if he becomes a champion yeah yeah god forbid <laughs> like oh, okay no i don't know I, I wouldn't mind if sean wins but, and he, he gets the title but if he wins yeah i think i think the uh the ufc pr team is gonna have a heart attack honestly you know, you, you, but like you got to ask the question with Sean and like Paulo Costa and a couple of these guys of like, are you doing a bit or are you this guy in real life? And Sean, I can't really tell Paulo Costa. I really can't tell. You know what I mean? Or uh, Marvin Vittori is kind of there. Like, are you just dumb or are you doing a bit right now? <laughs> I think I think Vittori. Um, I think Vittori is not doing a bit. Uh, neither is Costa. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna be polite here because in case we ever have the one, but I just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that I don't think they're doing a bit. I think I think Sean's a lot smarter than people realize, honestly. Like he 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 does stuff to kind of um you know he says a lot of clickbaity stuff, man, because he knows yeah it's gonna it's gonna boost his profile at, at the end of the day. If you watch some of the uh, the Joe Rogan podcast, he was just going in, man, on Izzy. Tell me everything. I, I I didn't catch uh, any of it. What, what was him, this? Like China's little slot, uh, because Izzy. <laughs> oh, I know what that's about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, here's the thing. If man, prize fighters, if they, if someone paid me right now to like, hey, go to Peru and just like say you have a Peruvian soul, I'd be like, yeah, no problem. Five thousand bucks, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A hundred percent, man. I I probably I'll probably tell people I'm North Korean for the right amount of money. Man, <laughs> we're all for I sale. Roman, man, he's a nice guy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking nice of, guy. we are seeking sponsors for the podcast, and we have no backbone on what we'll sell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'll sell it. I don't care <laughs> one bit. <laughs> Actually, that's not even true. I think we've been offered stuff that we turned down. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I know we uh, did. We did. It's like, yeah, come on, man. You got to offer us some decent money at least. <laughs> <laughs> but but there was another fight that you and I were talking about that neither of us thought would come to fruition, and that was Hamzat Shemaev getting back in there at middleweight against Paulo Costa. And you said this isn't going to happen. Okay, tell me That's all about it. It's still not happening. Like, I just don't see it. Because how many times have these guys pulled out of fights yeah, or just kind of, you know, they just said blah, 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 yeah, I'm fighting for them to just pull out? Like, even, even Paulo Costa. He was meant to fight Ikram, uh, what, this weekend or the coming weekend, a couple of weeks away. And yeah. now that's that's gone. Um, and maybe it's the UFC's fault, man. I don't know. Like, yeah, they're just going, no, yeah, these two are fighting. And I'm like, hold on, I, I, what the fuck is going on? Like, I didn't agree to this. Like, it could just be a case of that. You know? Man, I... Yeah, I don't, I don't really... Know. I'm actually really surprised that this, this was announced because of all the talk of what Hamza was doing with like Kamaru Usman and some of these other guys. Why was Paulo Costa the pick? You know what I mean? Like this, is this a really important fight? He's not going to, is he fighting for the middleweight title? Cause the Kamaru Usman fight was a very important one. Oh, because because of the beef, you know, it, it, they've had, they've, oh, okay. So you probably, you, you, I'm not sure if you're aware, but yeah. they've been yeah. talking back and forth for a lot of smack here for the longest time. Um, mm -hmm. you know, there was even a clip here yeah, of Paolo Costa. He was on Henry Cejudo's podcast, and uh, mm -hmm. he was like, Is this Hamza Shamayev's uh hat? And then he started rubbing it on his balls. So, he, yeah, yeah, so they've been talking shit for a while. 
you know. They did have a run in at the was it at the UFCPI? I forgot about that too. They had like the exactly, the... exactly. And Paulo Costa is getting paid one million um, a fight now. Can you believe that? So no, you know that's great. That, Good for him. With that yeah, the UFC is probably going to be like, okay, we'll pay you one million a fight. We're going to we're going to only put you in big fights now, and you're going to have to sell this. So he's probably going to just turn the promotion up like times a million now. Which man, is who is his manager? That is, oh, know, that man. is impressive. Fight, man. It's ridiculous. Oh. I mean, I don't know if he's talking shit to Ariel Hawani, but like, what the hell, man? One million a fight, man. And he's not even a, he's never been a champion. You know, he's not, I don't know if he's a, a needle mover, but I don't know. Well, yeah, no idea. I, I, I really don't know either. He seems popular a little bit on social media. He's kind of funny. I, I don't know how popular he is, but a million a fight for a top fiver. Mwah, that's good stuff. Good for him. For a guy who hasn't made weight in three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like when, when Marvin was like, I can't believe you didn't make weight. And he goes, that's just your personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's your problem. I love that. He's, <laughs> they were a good matchup. Eh? They were a good pair. Uh, so he has the win over Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold is now retired. Oh, yeah. This was the thing I think you and I talked about last time that he, uh, Paulo Costa has no wins over active fighters he's beaten luke rockhold yoel romero uriah hall johnny hendricks uh and then bang bus but yeah no wins over active fighters but a million to fight whatever good for him they you're know, gonna man. get i mean get like, paid if it, it works it works man like he's he's in the colby covington situation he's got no wins over ranked opponents now so um <laughs> it is what it is man but i don't think it's i personally think we're wasting our time talking about it not that i i, I want it to happen but i, I just don't i don't think it's happening I don't think so either. I'm surprised too that Hamza just sat around for this long and like at middleweight now and stuff and it comes back to this. I don't know. It's cool. But I think they are trying to push him over the top a little bit. Like he's trying to make him the star. You know what I mean? They should just put him against uh, Bo- uh, Rob Worker, man. You yeah. Know? Rob Worker's yeah. kind of broken goods now. Just put him against Rob <laughs> nah, He's not broken goods. Nah, he's not broken goods. But he's, he's you know, he's, he's coming off a loss um, and... You know, if I was his manager, I'd be like, yeah, just go. Yeah, <laughs> go push. Have a, have a bit of a push against Robert. 